Hi YouTube, this is Jerry from Linda and Jerry's Place. This is a new channel we're putting on YouTube for you to enjoy. Hope you enjoy it. I'm showing you today I'm making uh, stuffed cabbages. And when I was growing up, my parents called it pig in the blanket. Mom learned how to do the uh, ingredients and everything from Grandma. Grandma and Grandpa came over from Hungary after World War I. And I'll show you uh, the ingredients that I'll be using. Right here on the counter you can see a head of cabbage, long grain rice, and I use this meat which is pork butt roast, it's ground up, tomato juice, onions, garlic, paprika, lots of paprika, salt, and pepper. And as I Continue this process. I'll show you more ways or things that I do to uh, put this all together. A leaf off the cabbage in the boiling water. Just wanted to show you how I remove it. There's the leaf. Nice and soft. Easy to fold it, roll it up with the ingredients. So we'll show you more. So we got one of the ingredients all chopped up, ready to go. Two large onions. As you can see here, the uh, Onions look quite red. That's because I put paprika in and I also mixed in the garlic. I probably put about two coves of uh, garlic in all together. But the, the paprika, you can put in whatever you desire. We use a lot of paprika. That's what really flavors it up. It takes quite a bit. Okay, I've got the ingredients all together here now in my bowl. We got the meat, we got the onions, we got the rice, we got the garlic, we got the paprika. We got the salt and the pepper, and I've got enough here. It's a big batch, to, and I'm using two cabbages, so we might even have a little bit left over. But anyways, that's why I use this much ingredients because I'm making a big batch. Oh, the eggs are in it also. Part of the process, when you get the cabbage leaf ready to roll it, you cut this piece off the end. It's a harder core of the cabbage leaf. Dad always said to cut that off because it's very hard to chew on. So I just take a knife and cut it off. That's it. Now I'm taking part of the mixture, putting it on the cabbage leaf, spread it out, and then you start rolling it. You want to make sure that you roll it tight. Keep rolling it and rolling it all the way. Then you take the ends and push them in. That way it will hold the cabbage leaf together. You do the same with the other end. Stuff that in there like that, and there you are. There's your first cabbage roll. I'll show you another. Put the mix in. You don't want to put too much mix in. You want to make sure that you've got enough cabbage to hold it all in. Push these ends in. Turn it around. Push in the other end. And ready to put it in the pan. When I first learned how to make stuffed cabbages, I asked Dad, well, how tight do you roll these when you put your ingredients in it and then roll it? And he said that Grandma Martin, she always said, you roll it tight enough so you can take and throw it over the house and when it hits the other side on the ground it doesn't fall apart. <laughs> well here it is. It's on the stove. I got the stove turned on and it's in this pan filled up with stuffed cabbage rolls and I filled it up with tomato juice. So your heat you only want it on about not much over low and let it cook. You're going to have to cook it for about two and a half, maybe three hours. It's a very slow cooking. You don't want it too hot. You'll scorch the, some of them in the bottom and then you'll have that scorched taste. You don't want that. So I will show you later as we get this cooked up. Well, here we are. The stuffed cabbage rolls are getting happy. They've been cooking now for almost two hours. And looking real good. Oh, does it ever smell good. 
My, 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 my. Are we hungry for these cabbage rolls? Okay, now I'm putting the flour in the grease. And you can see it's bubbling, it's fizzing. It'll thicken right up, make a nice sauce. Okay, you can stir it. You see it's making a nice sauce. Okay, now I'm taking and pouring the sauce in, and when it hits this real hot juice, you can see it's kind of bubbling. It'll thicken up the juice and make it real nice sauce. Kind of like a gravy. Mmm, delicious. Mmm. It's very good. Very good. Yo! That's what Grandma would say, which means good. Translated from Hungarian, yo means good. Hi everybody, Jerry here again. Say, I just want to remind you, don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe, hit the like button, and if you have any comments, please share them with us. What you think about our videos, if there's anything else you'd like to see us put on that you haven't seen yet. We appreciate it very much, and we hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.